what's up it's Jenny welcome to my makeup Monday video um, I know it's been a while since I posted the makeup Monday but as my state slowly starts to open up that means I can start working my part-time job again so I'll be working doing school and trying to make social media content but if you watch my videos thank you so much for any support you know I'm just trying to see where having a social media personnel will go and see if I enjoy it but so far I really like enjoying videos and seeing any feedback so yeah thanks again about that but today I thought I'd do a makeup review I'm reviewing Tower 28 Beauty you know as I was scrolling through Sephora on my computer or you know other websites to go shopping and add things to my cart but never end up buying I came across Tower 28 Beauty. It's on the clean beauty section of Sephora and this beauty line is also cruelty free and it's also vegan and I haven't seen that many reviews about it. It's a recently new makeup line I believe but yeah I just wanted to see what this makeup line was for myself and maybe it'll be helpful for you as well. So yeah we can get right into the video. Alright, I'm just going to start off and do everything normally that I would do in my normal makeup routine. So first, I'm going to apply some... Mm, let's apply some moisturizer so that my face will be moisturized and not dry out as I put on makeup. I'm pretty excited about trying out this makeup line. Um, I'm a girl who is a sucker for more natural looks when it comes to makeup and these are products that I would use more often because I would wear them every day instead of heavier products so I just want to see what this line is about. Plus 28 is my favorite number actually so I guess that was also what I was drawn to when looking at this makeup line. Okay, still using the make the milk makeup products that I tried a while ago and I still really like them so that's good. This is the cooling water gel stick. I think this is great for if your eyes are a little extra puffy the next day and it'll help deep puff. Next, some um, primer. I'm using the Milk Hydra Primer. I've also been loving this product. Again, if you want to see my full review on the Milk Makeup products, you can check out that video. I'll, it's somewhere on my channel. I'll try to link it down below if I remember. There's so many products I want to try, but I'm worried about not using them fully and wasting money, so I'll see you where review videos go but sometimes I'm a shopaholic and will want to buy all the different makeup lines because why not <laughs> all right now I'm gonna apply some concealer using the Tarte Shape Tape I am thinking about getting a new concealer although this is a great coverage concealer I would like a more light one, um, so maybe I'll do another video on that in the future to see different concealer brands. Alright, gonna apply some foundation. I'm using the Bite Beauty Change Maker Foundation. So far, I still enjoy this product. It's a bit heavier. It's like a medium... It's between a light and heavy foundation, but I would like a lighter foundation in the future. So if there's any products that you recommend, you can leave that in the comments down below and I'll see if I can do a video on that in the future. quickly do my brows. I'm using the Glossier Boy, Boy Brow. Recently, um, Milk Makeup came out with a Kush Brow felt tip pen type of thing. And M Cosmetics came out with a brow gel. And I really like brow products. And I really want to 
try them, but I have a lot of brow products right now, so I'm thinking I should wait to try those out. Um, I've just recently been obsessed with makeup, but I'm also trying to refrain from buying too much so that I'll be more eager friendly and just use the products that I have um, and try not to hold on to a lot of materialistic things at a time, but you know, a girl can dream, right? <laughs> So at first, I didn't think I would enjoy doing make like reviews for videos, but after doing the milk makeup one, I really enjoyed how that came out and would like to improve on um, my videos when I'm making them. I also really enjoy watching reviews, even if I'm probably never going to buy the product, so I guess it's both entertaining for me and for people who watch. <laughs> okay, now we can finally get into reviewing the Tower 28 Beauty products. So it came in a little parcel like this, which is more eco-friendly, eco which I appreciate. It has the cute little tape for branding. Now I'm going to open it up. So I think they have... They have um, a few different blush colors, they also have a bronzer that comes in two shades, I believe, a setting mist or a hydrating mist type of thing. They also have some gloss and I think maybe one more product, so the beauty line only has maybe four to six products, but I got three of them because I'll most likely wear these more often. Um, so I got... The package for these two, so this is the Luminous Tinted Balm for cheeks and lips, I believe, and a highlight balm, and I also got a gloss. And it looks like I got something else. I also got this little pamphlet poster type of thing. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the the Luminous Tinted Balm, so it's the directions are to tap and blend onto cheeks and lips. It looks like this in the package, and then let me pull it out. Alright, very simple, clear packaging so you can see the tint, and you know, packaging is very important when it comes to beauty products, and it's very sleek, so I like that. And I think I'm just going to use my finger, but let's see what shade this is. This is the Happy Hour shade. Ooh, it's very smooth and creamy. I like that. So I'm going to apply a little bit on my cheeks and use my other finger to blend it out. It's not super sheer, but it does have the tint, which I like. Sometimes cream products for blushes can be super sheer, so it might take a lot of product to build up. But I don't think you'll be wasting so much of this product, and I think you can get down to the last drop of this, but we'll have to see about that in maybe like a year. <laughs> I think I picked a good shade for my skin type. Um, I think this will look good on a lot of skin types as well. Oh, also wanted to note that I have oily skin if that helps in your thought process if you want to purchase these products. Alright, that's how it looks on camera. It's pretty, um, it's like a coral pink I would say. I think this would be great for the beach. Sadly, I don't live near one, but I would love to in the future. <laughs> it blends out pretty easily. Um, you could probably even use your beauty blender for this. And it's a very buildable product, so if you keep adding like one or two layers, you'll get to a shade you like.
and it doesn't feel too heavy, which I really enjoy that too. Um, hmm. We'll see how it looks on the lips and I'll give the few review after that. I think this is a great beachy glow. Um, yeah, I just have to see how it looks on the lips, but I'll do that in a little bit. Next, I have the Shimmer Free Highlight Balm. So it's like a highlighter, comes in the same package, and now I'm going to open it up. Okay. Same container. And this is the... Oh wait, it's a no shade. So it's just a shimmer. So I think this is the only shade they have. This one is a little bit more oily than the uh, Tinted Balm. It kind of feels like coconut oil. So I'm just going to apply that to here. Ooh, this is a sheer... It has a little bit of shimmer in it, which I like. I don't know if you can see right here. <laughs> That one, yeah, this one is very oily. I think this product you can easily use on like no makeup look, but it's pretty nice and very natural. It's not um, that bright, but gives you a little extra glow, especially if, you know, it's the summer. Alright, so before I move on to the lips, I'm going to do my lashes so that I'll complete the makeup look later. I think to go with the beachy look, I'm going to use the Tarte Surfer Curl. Okay, so the highlight may not be very noticeable on camera, but looking at it in person on the mirror, I really like how it's very natural. And now I'm going to finish off with the Tinted Balm for lips. This one is less oily and more compact than the highlight balm, so I think they're a little bit different in formula wise. Okay, lip wise may not be the best shade for me, but you know, it's sheer and it's cute and I think it'll go with some skin types. It might be debatable for your lips, but I think it'll look great on a lot of skin types for your cheeks. Okay, last product I have is a gloss and this is the lip jelly. I got it in the shade... Oh, I'll have to open it up first. I got it in the shade Chill, so I think it's just a clear gloss. I wanted to get one with glitter shimmers in it, but they were out of stock on that one, so I got this. Um, definitely a lot of product, and I think it wasn't that expensive, so you're definitely getting some bang for your buck. Cute packaging, and it even has like a little sun on the top for the cap. I typically don't wear gloss that often, but we'll see. So it's a flat applicator and apply that on. It's not sticky. Oh, though I did get some of that balm on it. Definitely feels like a gloss, but you know how sometimes you wear lip gloss or lipstick and your hair is blowing through the wind and it sticks to your lips? I don't think that'll happen that often with this gloss. Very light and moisturizing. I like that. Alright, so that makeup review was short and simple, but I like all of the products. Although I wish I got a different shade in the Tinted Balm. Um, the shade I actually wanted was out of stock, so I, I tried something that I normally wouldn't try. But I like it. Uh, the shade on my lips I don't really love, but it really just depends on what shades you prefer on your skin tone. Overall, I think these products are great and I think I'll be using them more often in the future, especially the gloss. I was surprised by that. Um, I usually don't wear glosses, but I think I'll wear this more often. I think it's a great natural makeup look type of product. But yeah, you know, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know how I'm doing. You can leave a comment in the comment section down below for more video suggestions on makeup any products you'd like me to try or makeup looks you'd like me to try, anything like that, just leave in the comments down below. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and if you want to see more every Monday, you can subscribe to my channel. See ya!